Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Welcome to Signs of the Sojourner. This is a narrative deck building game about relationships and communications. It's something completely different than what I usually play on my channel, but the game itself grabbed my interest when I first saw it and I said, you know what, let's give it a try. It released a couple of days ago on the 14th of uh, May and I'm playing it on GOG, but I believe it's also available on Steam, so you can grab it there. So. Shall we give it a try? Let's start a new game. As I said, it's narrative and uh, you use your deck to build conversations with people. They can go either in positive or negative way. Like at the start, you have just simple cards that you can mix and match together. And then later on, you get to start adding better, 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 better cards. And you know, things go onwards to glory. So let's start a new story. It's probably the best if I just show you. It's gonna be easier because it's it's different. Yeah, it's different. So, a childhood spat. The worst fight you and Elias ever had was over a strange locket in mom's desk. Curiosity got the best of you, but Elias was afraid of getting into trouble. That's you. Looks like you have cat ears. And that's dude. Your mom has collected so much cool stuff in here. How many towns has she visited now? So, this is our deck right here. Uh, I'm gonna explain this. So, we, to finish this conversation, we either need to get two of these white sequences, right, done, and that's going to be the positive end of the debate, or we get two black sequences done, and that's going to be a negative end to the debate. And since this is apparently a memory of us fighting, well, it's probably not going to be a positive one. Now, how this works is... You see these triangles? They mean something. So the triangles are logical and diplomatic, the circles are emphatic and observant. So the way this works is we have to match this. If it matches, it goes okay. And then he's gonna play a card and he's gonna try to match. And we play a card and until this is full. If you fix this one fully, if you fit all these four cards that we need to fit in here, later there might be more or less. Uh, and they all properly matched, then we get one of the white dots. And the conversation progresses in a positive way. If we mismatch, so there's a circle over here, if I, well, I actually don't have a circle there, so if I uh, put a triangle over here, if I had a card that would do that, then it would hit the black one, and the whole conversation is gonna go cross. But he might do that. We can't see his deck. There are later on uh, cards that allow you to see the opponent's deck or he can see yours. So that makes stuff easier. Uh, but hey, anyway, we're gonna play this. It connects. He's gonna play a connected one. So, well, I mean, we have these cards and hope that he's gonna do it as well. There you go. It's a proper sequence. We got one of the white ones and the conversation goes in a proper way, which is good. Let's play Caravaneers, just like her. You'd be the driver, I'll be the navigator. There you go, the conversation continues. Wait, hang on, you shouldn't look in her desk. She's gonna be mad. Is that a locket? I've never seen your mom wear a locket. So, as this is like, this, this first story introduces this whole stuff in here. Things might not go well over here. Or he might, yeah, he's gonna go mad. He's gonna play the improper one. So, well, hey, you're not listening. We shouldn't be snooping. So bad things are gonna happen. And, and now since his card, last card that was played is gonna be the first card over here. And I don't have any card that has a triangle as a starting card. Well, things are gonna go pear-shaped, you know? Right there. And we're gonna go with uh, that one as well. Why do you always drag me into stuff like this? Put it back before we get caught. So this one, you know, the first one was prescribed the way that's gonna go. There was no other way. But later on in other conversations, you know, you can affect this and it can go both ways. That fight could have only ended how it did. You and Elias talk past each other. Sometimes mom said it's fine to not get along. But that time she stepped in to mediate. There's mom. You two, what are you doing in here? I'll need to leave soon. The caravan is almost here. Come say goodbye. What are you even fighting about? Well, we now have to talk to mom. So you can see it's much easier to succeed in this one because we only have to get two white pips or four of the black ones. So, hey, let's play mom. Now that we formed this thing, we got an accord. So if we get four of the same uh, icon, in a row, 
and where well, there's five now but if you get four it forms a shield so over here i can now play a triangle if i had a triangle over here i could play it and it would still be proper so um let's see i'm actually gonna yeah let's play let's play this one there you go so she plays that one and then we get a circle next because we don't have any starting greens it's okay not to always understand each other one miscommunication doesn't have to end a friendship let me help you figure this out boom and that way we start a circle if you get a little lost think about how he's reacted in the past have you been able to connect and get past your differences you see this is a game about relationships so let's just drop one of these bad boys in here and she is helpful there you go we got through this easy peasy now not all disagreements have to be the end of your relationship or friendship listen to each other see if you can find common ground mom steps in you think back on that fight years later after mom passed on when you and Elias had to rely on each other all the more and this is where the story begins 15 years later it's after her funeral unfortunately it's your first time back inside mom's old store since the funeral. All told, she didn't leave much. She was always on the road, and what she brought back sold fast. Elias runs his hand down an empty shelf before clearing his throat. That's Elias now, and we still have these ears. You feel it too, don't you? The uh, weirdness of being in here without your mom. Can't seem to wrap my head around her being gone. My bad, now I'm the, only... now I'm the one making things weird. Alright, so... We got two Circulinos. Let's get a shield going. Okay, so he played Accommodate. You see that card? Now, now he plays it. It's gonna show over here. It's gonna just copy both of these. So if this was like a, a triangle and a circle, it would copy triangle and a circle over here. So that's the way it works. But it just copied that one. Uh, I'm just gonna play... Uh, let's go with this one. There you go. He can fit that one in. There you go. We agree, buddy. We agree. Yeah, you're right. She wouldn't want us to dwell. Gotta cheer up. After all, she always looked so pleased when she was here. Making people smile, giving them samples of cool new stuff, even if they were broke. I think it might just have been her favorite place. So, I believe after this uh, conversation we get that card, or we get to choose it if you want to. She'd be so happy to see the two of us taking over the store like this. You, out there on the open road and me, uh, keeping an eye on things here, which is totally just as exciting. Not that I mind, of course. Being stuck out there in the caravan would drive me crazy. Alright, second conversation. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get a shield going, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, let's keep on, keeping on. Good. Good, good, good. Easy money. Oh, there's the caravan now, right on schedule. The leader, Nadine, runs a tight ship, but I don't trust her. So, you might say, hey, this is really easy, you know, they just play to your, um, to what you want to do. But, you know, that's the starting conversations right now. Later on, as you get down on the road, I played for like a bit just to test things out. Uh, people will have like, a certain person will have just certain style, like just all triangles. And if you don't have plenty of triangles, you might get screwed up, you know. Uh... So, we'll see how it goes. I hear she's planning to drop the town from the caravan route. That'd be real bad for Barto. Hey, while you're out there, maybe you can change her mind. We'll try. Okay, we need to get one more positive. So, let's see if you can get that going. Maybe a shield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, easy money. So, to just show you how the shield works, if I drop this bad boy here, it's just gonna destroy the shield, but this is gonna work nicely together. So, it's all good. It's gonna jive. No matter what, you're gonna do great. I bet you will come back with a bunch of cool stuff. You packed everything you need, right? Socks, if the truck breaks down out there, you don't have socks, it's all over, dude. Don't worry about this place, it's in good hands. Take care of yourselves out there. You'll miss Elias too, and wish you didn't have to leave so soon. You planned this trip for a while, but it only started to feel real in the last few hours. The store needs three new products. So that's our quest now. I need to find three items to make the store reopening a success. So basically, we're gonna go visit different towns, and we're gonna actually have to talk to people and convince them, or through, you know, positive uh, conversations, get these items for the on the road. So, now we get to choose a card, and I'll take the Accommodate, just for the duplication thing, and, you know, these are the cards we have. We only have one starting triangle, so definitely wanna 
keep that around. I'm gonna forget... I think I'm gonna forget one of these, maybe. Or one of these. We have five of these, so let's forget one of these. That's acceptable. This is home. We are in Barto. So, Barto. Quiet enough to hear the grasshoppers rub their wings together at dawn and the crickets at dusk. You know the name, nickname, and favorite color of every person in town. It's past time to leave for a spell. This is Nadine, we're gonna be talking to her. And it tells you she's logical and diplomatic first and then em empathetic and observer. So, triangles and circles for Nadine, the resolute leader of the caravan. She's gonna be leading our caravan. Follow close. Almost a dozen vehicles sputtered down Bartos' dirt roads. Their engines once again si signaled Mom's imminent departure as well as her return. Nadine, sitting on the running board of her truck cab, gestures for your attention. Let's talk, Nadine. I trust you have sufficient provisions for the route. Our first stop will be Pachenko, the artist colony. Yes, we get to know about Pachenko. Be alert. Reptiles cross Thunder Lizard Road to their heart's content. You don't want guts in your windshield. Nadine told me about the road from home to Pachenko. Alright, so let's talk. We need three positives. Alright. Uh, let's keep it shieldy. Let's keep the shield going. Might as well. She will oblige me. Okay. <clears throat> My condolences for your loss. Your mom and I had our differences, but I respect her all the same. Before the Karen heads out, we need to talk. We're doing that right now, lady. <laughs> I don't know what you think you saw, but that's what we're doing. Unless you turn the store around and keep it well stocked, the caravan will have to draw Barto from the route. Which would suck. So, let's keep the shield going. She's gonna do that as well. Um, we could we could duplicate, we could use the accommodate for that, or we can just use this bad boy, which is also fine. There you go, another positive. Next one will be tougher, because we pretty much used all of those... Uh, circles. Without the store in good shape, it doesn't make sense for the caravan to stop here. Awful waste of resources. I probably don't have to spell it out that this would be bad for Barto. I know you all depend on this traffic. Yeah, I mean, sure. Sure we do. It's not my choice, not entirely. I make the final call, but I'm beholden to the caravan members and their needs. Believe it or not, Barto would be dropped already if I didn't owe your mom a favor. I argued on your behalf. So let's get some greens in now. Let's get this bad boy going. Uh, we can easily get this bad boy going. So you see, if I did the duplication here now, it would go green first. And that would give us one of the black marks. So, don't want none of that. There you go. Okay, we agree on stuff. That's good to know, Nadine. It might not sound like it, kid, but I'm in your corner. My hands are tied with this, I want to see you succeed. So maybe if you wanted to hear more parts of the conversation, you would fail, you know, just on purpose. And you'd get to hear more. Nothing about this situation is good, but Nadine probably isn't to blame. You thank her for the info. So she told you about uh, Pachenko, where we're going next, about the road there. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be our first stop. So let's go. Choose a card. We'll grab one of these, because we have almost none of these, and we're gonna get rid of... One of these, maybe. Sure. Seems legit. So, it's time to move on. We can't talk to these two anymore. Let's go. And now we get to see the world world map. Actually, first, the calendar. We have five trips. And from these five trips, we need to find three items. Currently, we have zero items. These are cards, abilities. We have accommodate and accord. There's going to be a bunch more. Profiles. We know about Elias and Nadine. But you can see, there's like... There's ten over here. Twenty... 30, 33 people. So we get to meet 31 more people out here. So, yeah. You can, it also tells you conversations, how many we had with them, what kind of conversations they were, where they live, all the good stuff. So, that's our calendar. We're gonna be stopping in two days. So, uh, let's go back to the road map. And we see Pachenko over here. That's the road. So let's make our way over there. There's gonna be another person there that we get to talk to. Probably mom's oldest friend, Isabella, who lives there. It's a thriving art community. Empathetic and observant, logical and diplomatic. Let's go. Let's go, truckers. Let's make it over yonder. Pachenko, hello. The Twisty Canyons... The Twisty Canyon Road leads to Pachenko. Would send the great traveler in circles. Okay. 
leading to Pachenko. I'm sorry. A rundown vehicle has trouble with the last slope up to the plateau, but Nadine leaves no one behind. Let's talk to Isabella, an amazing confectioner and an old friend of Mum's. Alright, she's triangles and circles all around. Mum's favorite candy. Isabella keeps the door to her shop propped open, flooding Pachank with a sweet scent of fresh licorice, caramel, and other sugary confections. Irresistible advertising. Mmm, sweet. Okay. Oh, you're so far from home. When I saw you come in just for just a moment, I'd have sworn you were her. The very image. I wish I could have stayed around longer after her funeral. I can't get much time away from the shop, you know. Yeah. You see, we only need to get the 30 matching cards with her. And we need two positives, or if you fail three times, it's done. So let's go, let's get you a greenery going, maybe. Oh, she went with double greenery. Actually, she went with a clarify. So this thing, you can see over here, you see this uh, icon? It can be inserted between two cards. Any valid cards, so it can be done. Um, I do have this bad boy, so let's play it. Sweet. Easy money. It was beautiful, her funeral. You did so well. Scattering her ashes as the sun rose over the houses. Not a dry eye left in the town that day. That's pretty fucking sad. Alright, so we start with a circle. She chose Barto. I knew her longer than anyone, and there's no place she'd rather rest. Okay, so she starts first, because I was the one finishing. And she gets me a circle. Let me get you a circle as well. We got a shield, so it's all good. Easy conversation. Easy money. Do you love Licorice the way she did? I always saw her chewing on a rope like it was a stalk of wheat. Go on, have some. Take some for her store too. Well, your store. You were never close with Isabella, but she always seemed kind to mom. This could be a chance to become better friends and sample some tasty candy. So we got Licorice from Pachanko reminds you of mom. That's our first item. Easy money, right? And I will take this uh, card just because we don't have a card with disability yet. And I will get rid of one of these because we have four of these. Go. So, Pachenko. We get to talk to Nadine as well. Let's see over here. We have items. There you go. We have the licorice. So we need two more items. She's admiring some of the public art. Okay, let's talk. The Dean contemplates a cast bronze sculpture of a frail-necked lizard, whose head had been replaced with a man's vacant features. She rubs her chin for a while, chewing on some thoughts. Hello. That's gonna be a long conversation. You handle those steep hills and inclines well. The carrier's next stop will be Clifton, the market town. <clears throat> That's good to know. The road we take is prone to landslides, right close. If I can't see your truck, I can't protect you. Thank you. She told us about the road. All right. Let's see. Okay, so we only need to finish one line. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, she's got circles, we got a shield. That's a good start. Uh, let's get the shield uh, going. And it should be easy money. There you go. Easy conversation. I appreciate that, Nadine. But trust me, next time is going to be much more tricky. Tricky, tricky. Your mom, she had a lot of history here in Pachenko. Many friends, I believe. She always loved the licorice. What is licorice, actually? I'm not quite sure. I know it's some kind of candy, but I'm not sure what kind of candy. You admire the sculpture with Nadine in companionable silence for a moment. Imagine how mom must have felt, mom must have felt herself in an identical situation many times over the years. So, we got into Clifton next. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> uh, so we can grab this. I'll just replace one of these that we already have. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah. Move on from Pachenko. And we're going over yonder to Clifton. Hello, Clifton. Let's make our way over there. This canyon town has some long, incredible views of the long expanse. Why is there this thing over here? It might be a special thing on the route. I'm not quite sure. Uh, or maybe this tells me how long it's gonna take. Maybe this is a day in between, potentially. So we're gonna be talking to Nadine there and two uh, strangers. Let's go. Ah, right, I know what it is. It's a fatigue card. So basically, yeah, as you travel, you get these fatigue cards. I'm gonna show you right now as we get through to the Clifton. Ooh, Klaus. Hello. Aramir and Nadine. 
Uh, where's my card? So, we get this one. Fatigue. Cannot match with any symbols. Remove from deck by returning home and unpacking your items. So, yeah. This is like a curse card. Also, I gotta tell you that uh, when I play this, uh, just trying stuff out, when I got to this town, Klaus wasn't here. It was another person. So, this is interesting. It is random, it seems, and I like that. So, Clifton. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for sightseers, though. You watch for pedestrians as the caravan rolls down town. Okay, let's talk to Ramir. A man from the caravan, he looks familiar. Hello, Ramir. Familiar face. You know his name, Ramir. He grew up in Barto, traveled with the caravan, turned from neighbor to visitor. He's sitting off the hood of a car the same way he used to sit off his porch way back in the day. He doesn't seem very happy. First time with Karen, ain't I? Hope your mom taught you the ropes. It's not easy out here. I remember my first time. Pachenko, Clifton, Bukamboro. A whirlwind of new experiences. And he told about Bukam told us about Bukamboro. Just keep your cool. The road to Bukamboro shreds a lot of tires. Don't panic if it all goes to hell. Okay. So. Two and two, you say. He started with greens. Let's give him a blue. And I don't know why I said blue, but yeah, it's a circle. Um, so let's see. Well, I have to play this one. We can't play this one because he won't be able to do anything with it. We could play it as a last card, potentially. Observe. Ah, okay. So he played this card. You see this eye? He now sees what I've got. I don't know how that helps the AI. But hey, see, me seeing his stuff would be nice. Remember, everyone you met on the road, you meet on the road is out here for a reason, and most won't tell you what that is. Why don't you tell me, then, Ramir? Don't believe every word that comes out of someone's mouth, even if they are nice, especially if they're nice. You don't seem nice, so I guess that's good. <laughs> Alright, so we have a shield. That's sweet. I always respected your mom. She threw it out here, completing her element, a shark if I ever knew one. Just because she had friends on the road doesn't mean you do. You don't inherit connections. Yes, I understand this. Okay. Uh, we can continue the shield with this thing. But then we might have a problem. We'll see. Continue the shield. He continues the shield. I will have to break the shield. But let's hope he's got a circle. Well, he seems to have plenty of greens. So I'm going to break the shield and hopefully he gets a triangle. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Don't be so naive. What? You played that on purpose, didn't you? Okay, so we got circles now. We got a shield going. Yeah, keep the shield going. We can do this, buddy. Thank you. Whew. That was close. Alright. It took your mom years to build her network. It will take you time, too. I don't want to see you ruin what she made. I don't know. This is like passive-aggressive... Passive-aggressive friendship, dude. It's it's weird. <laughs> Get out of my face. You nod along to Ramir's advice. He glances over every so often to make sure you're paying attention, which seems to satisfy him. It's like he came here uninvited to give me advice, and I have to be happy that he's doing it. He's like he's passive-aggressive about it. What a dick. I don't like you, Ramir. Uh, we need we need more of these. We definitely need more of these and less of these. Get of that. Okay. So, Klaus. I uh, didn't see, didn't read what Clifton is all about. Every turn down the streets of Clifton seems to reveal another mountain in the distance, another horizon. Nadine doesn't stop for sightseers, though. You watch for pedestrians, the caravan rolls downtown. Or did I? I, I th you know what? I think I read that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. Let's talk to Klaus, which apparently is a female. Uh, Klaus is a very much a boy name, but hey, who am I to judge? She's watching travelers walk past. Maybe in other parts of the world, that's not the case. She's a snack peddler. Winners in Clifton compete to make the grandest promises delivered with the loudest, most tenacious voice. For every woe, there is a product that can fix it. Klaus, on the other hand, is quite barely is quiet. Barely audible breath beneath the crowds. The crowds. Why can I not read? I'm sorry. What's with your arm, Klaus? You must be with a caravan. Hello to you, traveler. Safety in numbers. Is that it? Very wise. I'm a humble peddler of roasted nuts. Mmm, <laughs> nuts. Don't you enjoy those, traveler? Who does not? Life is simple. Life simple is pleasure. Uh, I'm guessing this might be our next item that we can get. Klaus should be nice. Okay, play nice. Uh, I'm content with getting a shield going. It seems 
to be the cheese as well. Uh, I'm gonna switch, though. Okay, good. We got our first white thingy, but we do have fatigue over there. Hmm. But don't tell anyone. If I ever... Everyone knew I sell roasted nuts, they'd buy them up. None left for you. I don't know. We can share a secret, can't we? You and I. Just a little information. A mere factoid. Keep safe between us. It's like when you go uh, in those, like, more middle... middle eastern places and you're like you come out there and people are like hey my friend where are you from and you say i'm from there and they're like oh i know that guy he lives there my friend and he mispronounces your country and he thinks that you're somewhere else yeah but you're his best friend now it's good stuff also that was probably not nice that i said it in that way i don't have anything against those guys Unless they get into my face. Perhaps you might even trust me with your own secrets. You know so much about me, and I so little about you. Scandalous. Uh, Klaus, you okay, buddy? I'm not quite sure. Um, this might be problematic, unless we roll more greens. Let's hope... Yeah, we can get a shield going. That's perfection. And we did roll this one. Let's hope you got a circle. Actually, you know what? Let's keep the shield going. That way... Yes, 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 yes. Better. Let's keep the shield going. If someone inquires after these roasted nuts, simply laugh, smile and toss a delicious handful into your mouth. That's a lot of nuts at the same time. Klaus makes purchasing a simple bag of roasted nuts feel like a clandestine operation. You promise to keep her secrets, whatever those are. Roasted nuts from Clifton. Let's go, boys! We got ourselves another item. Uh, okay, so at this point, how are we doing? We have one, two, three, four, five starting circles. One, two, three, four starting greens or triangles. We still have three of these same-ish. At this point, I don't think these are that good. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I want any of these. I mean, the game seems to want to give it to me. But yes, at every time we'll have we'll have less starting greens, just because uh, we have this one, which can be pretty much anything. So it's not the worst. We'll just switch these two, which is pretty much the same card. So, uh, it's time to move on. Looks like we are not talking uh, to Nadine because she's helping a caravan member replace a tire. That's, that seems acceptable. Let's go to the next town. Hey! Hello. A simple detour. The bright, unobstructed sun over Clifton powers up the truck quicker than usual. Uninvited, Ramir opens your passenger side door and hops inside. What a rude man. I told you! God damn it. What do you want, dude? Got a proposition. The caravan usually gets around to Ankalas, but I've got something to take care of there. Okay. So what? You want me to go with you? I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. We might fail this one on purpose. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. But let's play your game. Let's see what you want. He's observing me. Well, let's play this one. Hey, he switched the circle just to get rid of a shield, huh? Let's see what he wants. Isn't is that whole business with the railroad? Got a lot of folks working to get the train back in operation. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I don't know. Whenever some whenever something like the, that goes on, there's money to be made, and I don't mean for manual labor. No thanks. You, I don't trust you, yo. I really do not trust you. I think I don't want your stuff. But I'm gonna keep this charade going. I can always fail on the last one. If I feel like it. The place the Karen goes next. Bukamboro. It's nowhere town. Less folks than Barto. Serious. Dude. Who am I to vote for where we're going? Yeah? All the endless junk from Cell and Anka would impress the homebodies back in Barto. Worth your time. You did say it's junk. This is gonna fail because he cannot match this. Oh no, the horror. Forget about it, I'll go myself. Yeah, you do that, buddy, I don't trust you. You tried to convince Ramir that leaving a caravan is unsafe, but he's not hearing out a green horn. Ramir will travel on his own. Yeah, you know what? You do that, buddy. Uh, okay, so we can get uh, Observe. 
I like the idea of that very much so. I'll just replace, I think, this one, maybe. Yes, let's do that. And you get observed from this. This is actually cool. So he went to Anka. He went there, but we're going to Bukambora, which is way shorter. I guess these might be railroads. Let's go. There's gonna be a lady to talk to there. Well, let's not be judgmental. We'll see. Bukambora, a dusty old stop left behind when the railroad broke down. Alright, I'm fine with us. We just need items, dude. Looks precious. I'm guessing, you know, people in this dusty old town might be uh, happier to trade. We'll see. So, Bukambora. A red-tailed hawk purchased on the dormant railroad tracks above Bukambora. Gulping down a lizard. The few vendors in town wait outside the stores. Windows cleansed. Windows cleaned and sidewalks swept. The count of the caravan's arrival. This gives me, like, the wild, wild west uh, feel. I like it. So, Matilda. She's grinding leaves in a mortar. Oh, okay. Interesting. Leaves to powder. Mathilde's business resides in low earth-colored house. The first floor converted into a storefront. Barrels lined the walls filled with the fresh tea leaves whose scents compete for your attention. Okay, tea. I like it. Hello. We got a luck lucky duck over here. I just about sold out of my world-famous matcha. I grind the tea leaves up myself. Takes so long, but it's soothing, not tedious. Kind of like meditation. Alright. Okay, let's see what we can get going. This is already a troublesome start. Let's get a shield. Uh, sure. Keep the shield going. Alright. Good. Reconsider. Redraws your hand when played. Ah, interesting. So she's got that. Oh, wait. I just got the... I can see her cards and she redraw. Wow! Wow, nice one, Mathilde. I sourced the tea leaves from out near Aidhurst. Not enough shade around here. The sun is too brutal. Okay. You ever been out that way? I swear, they won the climate lottery. But the sea will eat them first, so... Oh, do we get to see them now? No. No, we don't. Hmm. That's just how it goes, huh? Pick up and move whatever is still habitable. Who knows when the groundwater will run out here. Yeah, that sounds disappointing. So since she did manage to redraw, that's a bit of a problem. We do have a shield, so that's good. Let's see if we can get some surplus going. Yes, we can. And now we have a shield, so this should be safe. I don't get to see her stuff, but we can keep the shield going, so we're good. And the conversation ends, and we should get some tea leaves. Right? That's why I meditate, huh? Only peace I get from watching the world die around me. So, match up? Yes, please. Come see me again and maybe I'll read you your fortune, if you're lucky. Matilda's matcha smells incredible. You're lucky to have gotten some. Matilda promised to read your fortune if you return. Sweet. And we got a famous matcha, hand ground in Bukamboro. That's pretty cool. And yes, uh, we'll do redraw. I guess all of our greens are gonna be like that, huh? So we have two on the full greens. Okay, we're gonna be replacing one of these, I think. Yeah, let's replace one of these. I don't know. Do it. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's talk to Nadine as well. She's enjoying a bottle of matcha. Alright, let's see what she's got for us. The small table that's out of store, Nadine whisks matcha in a tea bowl. Her motions are precise, not a single drop spills. Your presence feels intrusive, like you've interrupted some personal ritual. Okay, she might not be too happy. Still here? Your final stop in the route will be at Hurst. Some call it scenic? I don't care for it. Okay. That's, you know, it's fair. Fair, even though it's tough. The road is in poor condition more than most. Many travelers bypass Bukambora, but I enjoy their matcha. Ah, that's why you get here. Okay, so we need to get one positive convo. We can do this, boys. Uh, I'm actually gonna go with this. Hope that she goes with greens and I can then see her stuff. And in fact, I can. Oh, she had to break it. In fact, didn't didn't really matter if we seen it or not, because we won it anyway, baby. You got it. She's got plenty of circles. This place, Bukambor, it reminds me of Barto. Do you find that to be accurate assessment? Yes, I actually do. It is small. I leave Nadine to sip her drink in peace. And we learned about the roads to the next town, which is good. And... I mean, sure. Keep it going. Alright. 
So, I'm gonna click on the move on just to see what is the next town, next town. Which is Althurst down here, and I guess that would be then the hometown because uh, we get one, two, three, four, and then five, maybe? I don't, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm gonna finish the episode over here, and I do hope you enjoy this video. It The game is special. It's different, it's very rela relaxing, and it's really cool to read stories. So if you're like a person that enjoys uh, reading stories, learning more about people, more about how they react to the world, and in a way manipulating that, it, it could be a lot of fun, I think. I think. Uh, it's not. It's definitely not a, a game that would be probably doing well on YouTube, but I think the developers did something special and unique over here, and I appreciate that. So, you guys let me know what you think uh, about this game. Let me know in the comments if you would play it, if you would check it out. Let's see if I can even see how much it is on GOG right now. No, I can't. Never mind. It's fine. Uh, yes, I'm playing it on GOG. It's probably available on Steam as well. I should have probably checked that, you know, professional like me. <laughs> In any case, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you'd like to see more from me. And I will see you guys next time. For now, Coco out.